So you have an Epson scanner, you're trying to scan prints, slides, negatives, but it's going really slow. What can you do to speed up your Epson scanner? Well, first of all, who am I? My name is Mike Patterson. I'm a professional full-time photographer located here in Southern Alberta, Canada. And I also run a full service photo lab. And as part of that, I do a lot of scanning of slides, negatives, prints for my clients. And a few years ago, my scanner, my main scanner went just into the slow mode speed. It would not work at all. I could scan pretty good. I could rotate images pretty good, but to do any adjustments, it was killing me for time. So I did a video back a number of years ago when I was first starting this channel about how to speed up the scanner. And a bunch of people whined and complained that it was too long of a video. Can you just get to the point? So in this video, I've taken that information and I've condensed it. Now, if you want to watch the full video that explains everything else that I tried that didn't work, just in case this doesn't work for you, I'll put a link up top and I'll put a link down in the description so you can go to that video. But in this video, I'm just going to go through that one thing, what was happening, how I fixed it, and I hope it helps you to get faster scans and better quality prints. So have a great day and here we go. Now, I went in and I hit the preview scan and the scanner did its little warm up thing and then it did its preview scan. Then as I said before, the preview scan was as quick as what it normally was. I then could go in and I could rotate the images. Now the rotating of the images was also just as quick as what it's always been. It was actually ridiculously fast. And I could go in and do all the work I wanted in this screen with no problem whatsoever. The issue was whenever I went over and did any adjustments whatsoever, that it would not adjust at a reasonable rate of time. Even something as simple as clicking on color restoration. You would click on it and it would just wait and nothing would happen. And then finally something would happen and it would do its adjustment. Then you would click on something else like backlight correction and it would sit there and it would wait and it would wait and it would wait. Then it would do its adjustment. And that happened for everything. It was really bad when I did any level adjustments because I would click on the button and I would go to move it and it would just sit there and nothing would move. And then finally it would move and then nothing would move and then finally it would move. And sometimes what would happen was I would move it all the way over. I would be done with it and it still hadn't done the adjustment. So what I did was I went in onto the program and I went to configuration. Under configuration, I checked the preview was where it was supposed to be. The color was where it was supposed to be. The film size was where it was supposed to be. Everything was where it was supposed to be. The last thing that I checked was under other and all this was correct. But at the bottom, it says restore all settings to their default values. Now, all the settings were correct. I know all the settings were correct. I've checked the settings. I've checked the settings. I've checked the settings. I know everything is correct with that. But I thought, why not just for the fun of it, hit the reset all. It says all settings will return to their default values and Epson scan will close. Okay to continue. So I clicked on the okay button and it went through and it did its thing. It then restarted the Epson scan program, or I think I actually had to go in and restart the Epson scan program. And when I started the Epson scan program, everything looked as it did before. There was absolutely nothing that was different on the screen other than it had reset itself to the beginning. So I went through and set up what I was supposed to set up, took it to professional mode, which is the mode that I generally use. I then went in and I did my first scan. Now, as soon as I hit the preview button, I noticed that it went a little bit faster, not a lot faster, but it went a little bit faster. When I went through it and I clicked on, so that went to thumbnails, I then went through and I rotated the images and they rotated at exactly the same speed. There was no difference whatsoever for these, which to me was a little bit depressing. 
So then I went over and I decided, okay, I'm going to try one of these buttons. Let's try color restoration as the first one. So I clicked on color restoration and instantly it worked. And I sort of looked at it and went, hold on here. I then hit backlight correction and it worked. I went, whoa, that's unusual. So then I went to some a different one. And as I pulled my sliders across, they did it as I pulled them across. There was no delay whatsoever. And that was the fix.